This will be a pretty short video on installing a greenhouse exhaust fan. This is going to be a tough installation. It's actually pretty easy to be honest. This guy has a uh, just a regular plug to plug in and another plug to go into the controller box. So there's not a lot of wiring. I've already wired up an outlet on top. So what this guy comes with uh, comes with a fan, controller, some pretty big screws for, I'm not sure what that's for, but the, it'll stick out the back of where I'm going to put it through, so I'm just going to use these little lag screws. The hardware you need, little connectors to, to make your cord neat, it's not bad, and then a little temperature probe. So I've already made a square and a couple of starter holes so I can put it above the door. This guy slants upwards. So that's where the heat's going to gather up there anyway. But I'll run the probe down here so if it gets too hot down here it'll suck some of the air out. This is winter time so it's probably not going to happen unless I leave the heater on or something weird. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'll get up there and cut this square out. Apparently without the controller hooked up, the fan just runs when you plug it in. So, does the controller get its power from the fan? Let's find out. Yep, it does. So this has another plug on the bottom. If I wanted to run two fans from it, I could. I'm going to mop this just right here. It only comes with a couple of wire ties, these little ends. If you buy this particular brand, and I'll put the link down in the description, you should get a few more black wire ties. There's going to be a lot of extra cable you're going to have to bundle up, unless you got this really far away. I will hook the probe up in this ungodly long cord. Just cause I'll run it over here and use the lattice. We'll see how it acts in this spot. I think that's fine. I could do something crazy and read the instructions and see if there's a suggestion on where to put that hole. I suppose I could do that. We'll walk through the programming. I had to turn off the lights because the glare on this was so bad. we couldn't see the screen. So we have one, two, three buttons up and down program mode. Right now is it off? It's an off. The room is at 67 degrees, 44 percent humidity. Fan speed is at zero. Whatever A3 means, I don't know. So I'm gonna go through it from off to timer mode. And I can set it for 29 minutes, 56 seconds. I can set that and just change it. You can hear the fan is on now. I'm going to go to auto mode. It wants to know high temp. I have it set it 
102 degrees. And I think 99 degrees is pretty good to kick that fan on. Low temp, I have it off. I don't want it turning on at a low temperature, sucking all the warm air out of here. High humidity, I have it kicking on at 90% humidity. Low humidity, I have it off. Now, you would use it, I think, for a supply fan, I'm guessing. Then alarm settings. I'm going to have an alarm at 150 degrees high temp. It's going to make a beeping noise, and if I can't tell it's 150 degrees in here, I'm not going to hear that alarm anyway. Low temp alarm is at 40 degrees. That can beep a few times. Let me know that the heater's not working. And then a high humidity, I have it 100% humidity for an alarm. I'll probably change that if it goes off. It's winter time right now, so I can't test them. Then low humidity, I have turned off. Then you have the on setting. You can hear the thing start pretty soon. Four or five, it slowly ramps up. And I can change the speed up and down. So that should cover everything we need to know about the fan and the thermostat. If you have any questions, throw it in the comments and uh, I'll answer them. Thanks for watching. Bye.